Go ahead. Uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, focus these days on concussions in, in the league. Uh, I don't even know what specifically to ask, but what, you know, what's your position on on concussions and if the league's doing the right things to try to minimize those? Well, I mean, I, they are, they have taken steps to protect the players today. I mean, I mean, you guys watch the game and mostly realize when a guy gets a concussion today, it's. Uh, they're removed from the game and they, they're not allowed back into the game. Well, most they're not allowed back in the game at all, but they're not allowed to be cleared to play until they see a uh, seek independent neurologist test. What I think is, as the NFL, they, they've changed a lot. I mean, have they gone too far? Uh, I think so. I mean, it's a violent sport. Um, but, you know, with the lawsuit going on right now, it's a... Uh, it's it's a, it's a big business, it's a big money business, so they're just trying to protect their interests. But it's, it's just the nature of the business, and the guys that play today, who played before, they, they understand that. They understand that uh, there's a risk of being injured, and if you ask me, I wouldn't change it for the world. I mean, it, it's just part of the game. You seem pretty diversified in your businesses. What's your favorite, and which have you learned? My favorite. Well, my favorite's the one I made the most money in. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I had some, I've had some good businesses, but I have some businesses that, that, went, that went on the meat ground too, that not going to be so successful. Um, I would say the, the most uh, trying business has been the restaurant bar business. You know, they're, it's a tough business. Um, some have done well. I opened some that have closed in six months. But um, you learn a lot from it, you know, you deal with a lot of people. Um, uh, another business is the real estate business, you know, you, you know I, we, we, we had a partnership form where we bought some, some great real estate and some other ones where we haven't. So they're all trying at different times, it just depends uh, on how much risk you want to take. And from my perspective, I'm more on the conservative side of, you know, as an investor. So I try to do things that are less risky than other things. I wish I knew I'd be betting all over. Uh, I would probably, I, I would think Denver is probably the favorite. I think they're pretty good. They, they had a great year and they got Peyton Manning. Um, they've had some guys who've been in the big game before. So, I mean, I'm not a betting man, so I don't, I don't gamble. So, um, not with my money at least. Um, so I, I, I think, I think Denver, I think Denver has a good shot. Well, I really decided, I, you know, I was, I was a, growing up as a kid, all my brothers played football, and I played football in high school, and I went, when I got done with high school, my dad told me, he goes, uh, son, I hope you get a scholarship to play because my dad was a truck driver for the Postal Service, and he had already had two kids in college right at the time. So, uh, a s small school came to me and offered me a scholarship. So I went there, and I'm like, my dad's like, remember now, you have to get an education, you know, football, will give you an education, and I did that. I went and I graduated in four years, got my degree, and I, and I was very fortunate to have, be at the right place at the right time to uh, get drafted by the Browns and play there for a couple of years and two years in Kansas City and then finish my last level in Green Bay. Um, so it was something that I think it was, you know, I was fortunate. I was, I'm sure there was some luck involved too, being at the right place at the right time. Oh, no, not at all. It was a great run. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was it was a lot of fun. I made some great guys, and you know, played with some great teams, and had the opportunity to play in a couple of Super Bowls. Frankie, what do you do to relax? Fish, golf, fish. fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not a big outdoors person. I grew up in Hoboken, New Jersey, where. I mean, Probably three percent of the population had grass. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's concrete, uh, pavement, uh, no parking spots. Um, and I'm, I'm not a big outdoors person. I, I I like to play golf in the summertime. I really do. Um, uh, I go boating up here a lot. Wisconsin with friends up here. You know the lakes up here a lot. Uh, so that's pretty much about it, really. Like that. Did, the, uh, did your position?
position as a center change much through your career? Was it always the same? I mean, it seems to be that did you call as many plays at the line for the linemen adjustments as they do today? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty much stated. You know, people think about football and they think it's you know it's changed over the years. I mean, there's different offenses like you know look at offense like the Eagles run this year, but uh, football comes down to blocking and tackling. So uh, pretty much. The thing with the NFL is they're, they're all the same techniques and the same blocking schemes, but different coaches call it different ways, so you have to adjust. But um, for the most part, the center makes the call and they try to get all the linemen in the right position who they have to block and make sure the assignments are right. But it's, I think it's, it hasn't changed much over the last probably 30 years, and uh, I don't think it will change much. You know, there's a few different routes and you know offensive schemes people run and different blocking assignments, but it's, it's pretty much the same. And, Usually the center is the guy who puts everybody in the right position. What was your favorite play to run? Was it running or passing? Oh, you know, it, it, whatever was working, I guess, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can throw the ball a lot and you can't run work the crap, you know, and, and vice versa. So, um, but if you can run the ball in the NFL, it, it always, it's always beneficial. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> it is. It's, it, it's, I would tell people it, it was it was it was a great living. You get up in the morning and you throw the clothes on to you, lay next to you in the bed, you just throw them on, you go. Some guys don't even brush their teeth. No, they go to the locker room because everything's provided there. You know, most guys would shower in the locker room. They would do their thing in the morning, you sit in a hot tub, whatever, get treatment. And then you practice, you have meetings, and then lunchtime you would sit around, play backgammon cards, watch TV. It was a lot of fun. I mean, that's one of the things you that's one of the things you miss the most as a play when you play for a long time, besides the paycheck, is um it's just the you know, the, all the great memories you have with the guys. A lot of practical joke going on. Um, you know, you get fifty something guys in there and you don't have to watch what you say. <laughs> You can play, you can play jokes and everybody, and, it, and it's a lot of fun, and it's it's one of the toughest things to adjust to after football is all the locker rooms.